New tonight, a story you're only going to see on Fox 19 now. A vintage Reds baseball player and his inspirational goodbye to the game. Sports director Joe D here to tell us about it. It's an interesting one, Drew. Yeah. It is, and it's a part two of a story we first told you around opening day. So this is Rodney Hamilton, a Hall of Fame softball player and vintage Reds baseball player who lost part of his leg. He needed goals after that happened. He needed some kind of motivation. So he set two goals, walk the opening day parade, that's the picture. He did that, and that's when he first told us his story. But he set a second goal, something he just accomplished. But it came with a catch, and it's Rodney who made the pitch. He just needed some time to watch. His gray beard, the perfect accent to his red stockings uniform, he never knew what life would hold. Maybe it's why he wants to hold that one thing that added so much to his life. Are you proud of yourself? Very proud, very proud because I made it. Wearing the vintage C on his chest, it's as if the game is always close to Rodney Hamilton's heart. A pitcher in one of the original vintage red stockings, Rodney played hardball the old fashioned way. I think what this shows is how important baseball is, the sport to everybody. And it really strikes at the core of our mission that really focuses on the power of baseball. A once powerful ball player who could seemingly breathe fire on a diamond. This is Rodney after he lost part of his leg in a work accident and seemingly lost his ability to play. You go back to our mission is about celebrating greatness, preserving history, and providing inspiration. And Rodney's story is inspiration. His mission started here. Fitted for a prosthetic leg, these are Rodney's first steps. An emotional challenge he embraced, not just to once again walk, he walked the opening day parade and promised to walk one more time to a pitcher's mound. It's not just the personality of the of the great ball player that Rodney was. That's not what this is about. This is about how you overcome, how you persevere. And, and, and look at a young man or a young girl who is getting ready to go through something in their life and say, it's okay. Here's how you can do this. You can beat this. You can do whatever it is you want. Never let it stop you. That's the story. Step by step. He climbed the steps to the field at Great American Ballpark. In uniform for the Vintage Baseball Classic, Rodney started his walk. His name at the bottom of the big board at the biggest field in town, Rodney Post Hamilton shared the hugs of a man saying goodbye to something he loves. His wife sitting in the seats and he standing near the mound, Rodney kissed baseball goodbye and spun one more strike. Yeah. One final pitch and one more hug from his friends. What were the emotions like? Held them back, they were in check. Because when I threw that ball and Dougie caught it, it was, I knew it was over and I had to accept it. And so that's how it went. So kind of hold it back a little bit. So we're doing all right. The game keeps moving, but so should Rodney's story, the courage to once again walk so he could walk away with his heart and hand filled with what he loves. One more time, and I got to throw the ball. And re I left on my own terms, and that's the best thing about it. Nobody told me to quit. I quit on my own, retired. It's not just the prosthetic leg why Rodney needs to walk away from baseball. He says his hips just can't take the pounding of playing competitive sports. My body just ran out of time, is what he told me. Rodney and his friend Perry do plan to continue their mission by talking to people who face a major surgery, kind of like Rodney's, and using his story as an example of the great things someone can do even after a life-changing event. But, Ken, there might be another chapter to this story. I said a final pitch, I have since been told, Look, he's friends with Johnny Bench. He is one of the biggest Johnny Bench collectors. So Johnny knows this. Johnny's coming back to town this year for his annual scholarship giveaway, his player of the year as a catcher. Word is he might be throwing out the first pitch. 
to Johnny Bench Interesting. at Great American Ballpark. So we just told the story of his final pitch. He might get one more at GABP. You know, I mean, give him one more. He, you might as well. And I love the story because, and they hit on it, this applies to so much more than just sports. If you're going through something like this and you want to uh, go back and dance, you mm -hmm. want to be a chef standing in a kitchen for eight hours, it's that perseverance. It is, and it's going out the way you want to go out. Even though it was one more pitch, I know he wants to keep playing baseball. I know he believes there's still a lot of good baseball left in him. But when you can go out on your own terms with that one final pitch, I think that's great. All right. Thank you very much, Joe. Sports News continues.